August is National Children's Eye Safety and Health Month, and as Back to School is quickly approaching, protecting children's vision is vital as they develop in adolescence. It is that time of the year, back to school, and parents are thinking about all of those uh, annual checkups, sports, school physicals, mm -hmm. immunization records. But let's don't forget about emphasis on preventative pediatric uh, eye care as we do prepare our kids uh, for back to school. Uh, the American Association of Ophthalmology recognizes August as Children's Eye Health and Safety Month. So from the public health perspective, uh, we have, um, and according to the National Institute of Health, there are uh, 10 tips on um, eye health safety. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. One of the biggest tips to reduce eye strain is to implement the 20-20-20 rule, which encourages resting the eyes every 20 minutes and looking at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. You know, our vision can change uh, even as children. You know, their vision can change. They can suddenly have blurry vision um, or, you know, if a parent notices the child is squinting. So, uh, you know, our eye health can change over the years. So tracking those changes, you know, and ensuring your child continues to have, you know, healthy vision is important. But yes, the eyes are the window um, in, in a way to our health. Um, things like uh, cardiovascular and um, diabetes, for example, we're seeing a rise in childhood diabetes. And um, most people are aware that eye health um, and diabetes go hand in hand. Uh, so there are many, um, you know, health risks um, or health conditions rather that impact our eye health. So it's very important to get those annual um, eye exams as well. For more information on eye safety and health, go to nei.nih.gov. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.